In this video, we're going to take a look at the culling mask property of your lights. This is really simple. All this does is allow you to control what objects this light is or is not illuminating based on what layer those objects happen to be in. Now, to illustrate this, I'm going to take our little Parthenon building that we have here. I'm going to put it inside its own layer, and then I'm going to remove this layer from our light's culling mask and thereby essentially tell the sun not to light up this building. That's all there is to it. Now, if we take a look at this particular scene's hierarchy, we have all of these cylinders, and everything is clearly named so well, Lee. Well, I was going really, really fast at the time. I, I know, yeah. and, and I've really, I've heard that excuse many times. But uh, if we take the, let's see, group number six seems to have everything selected, and we can go under layer and choose add layer. Let's take layer number eight, and we'll make this Parthenon, and we'll grab group number six. And we'll add it to the Parthenon layer. And yeah, we want to change the children too, because it looks like that includes uh, the roof as well as all of the, the columns. And I realize this is not like really the Parthenon, but you know, it gets the point across. So now, all I'm going to do is grab my light, come under the culling mask, and when I click on this, we have all of the various layers that are currently being illuminated by this light. And as soon as I uncheck Parthenon, you notice something really kind of scary happens. It turns dark and it quits casting a shadow. That is because this light has been told no longer to affect this particular object. Right, and we can reverse that as well. We could actually go into Culling Mask, and we could select on Nothing, and then go back and select just the Parthenon layer. Now that light is only affecting the Parthenon layer. And we even get a little warning. It says, too many layers used to exclude objects from lighting. Up to four layers can be used to exclude lights and tells you basically never to do what we're doing right now. <laughs> but it, does, it is nice for a, a quick example. So really, that's all there is to it. If you have a particular lighting setup uh, that you've established wherein you don't need to be affecting one object for any given reason, maybe you've already got lighting baked into that object and having other lights suddenly hit it is throwing it off, There's a, you can come up with reasons over and over again. You can use this to control what your light is and is not affecting. Is there anything you want to add, Lee? The only thing that I have to add is, remember, the layers are uh, limited in scope. You can only have 24 of them that you define yourself. So be very um, careful with what you're creating layers and putting on those layers. That's right. And that will wrap things up for this video. Thanks for watching.